We're here today to do super glue fuming. Um, first of all, I'm going to go over materials that you need to do your project. First thing that you need are gloves. Always wear your gloves to, like during this to avoid contamination. The next thing you need is a box. It can vary in size. Uh, the most important thing you need to look for is something that's transparent and that you can see through so you can watch your fingerprints develop. The next thing that you need is a candle warmer. And what you do, you place a piece of tin or aluminum foil on top of it once it's inside your box. And you add one to two drops of super glue to it. Now, for a while, I want you to watch your super glue and see how it develops while it's in the box. And if it seems to be going very slow, you can add another one or two drops to that. The next thing that you need is a pop can. This is where you're going to put your fingerprint and watch it develop in the box. You also need warm water for this project and you need to make sure that it is warm because if it's cold water your fingerprint process in developing will be very slow. You also need a ruler because once your fingerprint is developed you're going to want to take pictures. You need to take two pictures one with a ruler by the fingerprint to show the size, so that's very important. And you also need to do a picture without the ruler. Now, I'm going to show you the process of setting up your box or fingerprint. Super good. First thing that you want to do is put your candle warmer inside the box and power it on. The next thing that you want to do is place your tin on top of the candle warmer inside the box. This is where you add your drops of super glue. Once again, add one to two drops of super glue. Once those drops have been added, you can place your warm water inside the box and also your pop can inside the box so it will develop. You want to make sure that your lid is placed securely on top of the box and it is shut and you're going to want to check back frequently because the temperature in the box determines how quickly your fingerprint will develop so you're going to want to check that every five to ten minutes to see how it's developing. And this concludes the process of fingerprint cleaning.